G'day, g'day. Um, I've made a trip down to a place that I haven't fished in exactly a year. I think it's been like a year and two months. And last time I come here, we managed to catch a couple of good brim, but this place is notorious for big fish. Um, big, big brim, big flathead, and especially dewfish. So I don't know if I'm gonna make this a two-part video, but first of all, we are gonna be flicking for some brim around some pylons, um, some seagull covered areas, cafes, rock walls, with a couple new lures that I want to try and we're just going to see if we can like always get onto a few fish I'm looking at the water right now um, I don't know if it's super windy or that tide is just absolutely ripping in but as you can tell we're down at the bay new bridge pretty cool to cross over so we're going to work this spot to start with and just jump around the place till we can find something so let's get out of the car start fishing Oh, put in a new jetty right there. More structure, more fish. Any luck? Not so much. I'm gonna start off with a lure that you've probably never seen before. Got um, on Instagram called Outback Outback Brimmer Baits. Come up with this unique Australian-made design. Um, it's literally a muscle and how it works essentially is like it's mainly an on the drop thing but it's supposed to imitate a muscle either falling off a bit of structure or um moving like hopping up off the bottom how they do those little vibrations so that's why it's a vibe in one i'm going to drop around some pylons this wind's almost taking my hat off 2500 size reel eight pound braid uh eight pound leader miller rods brawler should be able to pluck the fish out of structure and i haven't caught a fish on this lure yet so be nice to tick that off. Let's drop it in. Try not to get it snagged first cast. The tide is ripping. Yeah, my lure's just out in the open already. Wow. Oh, actually got a hit. First drop on the mass. Wasn't really prepared for that because it was so out wide. A little nibble. <laughs> Go again. Look at that pole out wide. There's a brim. Oh, big, 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 big. That did not take long. Second cast. 
and it's a monster. Oh, how do I land this? Oh, do I risk pulling it up? <laughs> Second cast on the moss. Oh, it's only on by one treble. I'll have to risk pulling it up. Yep, there we go. Second drop in the fast flowing current. Well, Callum Dow, the designer of this lure, they work. That is a chunky yellow fin bay brim. Look at that lure. Pinned right where you want it. These hooks are super sticky. How's that? First brim on the muscle vibe. Second drop at a beautiful, beautiful location that I've been wanting to fish for a long time, but just been putting it off. Wish I came sooner. I'll give it a really quick measure and put it back in the water. Absolutely love this combo. It's just so good for tight structure, plucking fish out, pulling fish out, sorry. Just being able to put that extra bit of backbone to get them out from where they're sitting. That's a really wide cast. I don't think they seem too fussed, to be honest, just by the way that first fish ate it. Yeah, the brim will be sitting hard close against there, and as soon as they see this drift past, they should just come out from where they're sitting and smack it. Opportunistic feeders. Oh, brim on it. Oh, toadies on it. Toady on in a second. Just casting out wide from that pole because there's so much current. Should be able to drift a bit down deeper where the fish should be. Because they're not going to be sitting up high on the poles at the moment. game plan. There's one and it worked. Another big brim. Oh it's only thick ones on this. I mean he's fighting harder because of the current but oh that's another piece. No don't go down there. No no no. Only big ones on the muscle. You don't really get too, too many small ones from what I've seen on socials of people catching them. It's just quality. Kind of gets rid of all the small guys and brings out the quality. There we go. <laughs> That's a take. Double pin. Perfect. Let's get back to the bag before these seagulls. Eat my little crab lure off the reel, off the rod. Number two. That little technique works, just casting out a little bit wider and allows that lure to sink further down, um, closer to the bottom of the pole. Well, it's not going to be anywhere close to the bottom because it's extremely deep here, but further down where these fish will be, they're not going to be feeding near surface. So. Yeah, that is just where you want to pin them. Double right on the front. Beautiful brim. A little bit bigger. I'm calling probably 37, 38. Give it a quick measure and chuck it back in the water. Stoked. Yep, I was right. 36, 37. Go, mate. Sweet as. Just gonna keep checking that leader every now and again. Since I am fishing structure and pulling the fish up, if I even have a touch of freight, I'll end up losing this lure. I'll try this one again. Except I'll do the out wide bit. Should get nibbled. They're pulling like extra hard with this current.
Okay, let's make a move. Gave this spot a good go. Pulled two fish from it, which I'm absolutely stoked about. Gives me more confidence when using this lure. I do have the other setup with that new reel from last video. Little cranker crab on there. Probably give that a chuck soon. Yeah, we'll move just across to this one. This little pontoon jetty. Should get me some bites. GoPro on GoPro action. Oh yeah. Oh, we've got so much ground to work. There's guaranteed to be fish along here. This thing stretches for like 50 to 60 meters. Has to be some. Very new as well. Last time I come here that year and a couple months ago, this wasn't here, so. Oh, let's give it a shot. It's like some Sydney Harbour stuff right here. Sydney Harbour structure. Yep. First cast. They are just climbing on this. Oh, there's another. That is another brim. A little bit smaller than the others. But when you're using a lure this unique and it's getting fish, it's pretty cool. This thing's probably low, low 30s, but an absolute fatty. It's got a gut and a half on it. Ow. Just like that. Nice brim. Brim. What is he? Brim. A brim, is it? Wow. Yeah. What are you going to throw him Too back? small, is he? I always let him go anyway. Oh, I do. Yeah. I just, I'm, just, I'm just in it for the fun. Oh, excellent. Good on you. Yeah. Moved over here and got another. Beauty. <laughs> I'll move that. What do you use for bait? I'm not using bait, I'm using lures. Oh, lures. How cool is this? A little mussel. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> cool, isn't so it? So they think it's like a little um, a mussel that's fallen off one of the pylons or something. Yeah. yeah. And because they eat shellfish, they come over and eat that. Okay. <laughs> that's pretty good. I think one of the cool things about using this lure in this location in specific is I don't think anyone would have chuck this around here yet it's only been on the market for well it's been a little while now but one of those hooks actually broke so we've got two hook points on the back treble still see if we can hook up no doubt we will but if it affects it i'll change it up take off the treble and put on a new one on then. Oh yeah, no. Oh, yeah, I gotta get off this buddy. I'm turning, I'm getting motion sick. Alright, just moved to the other side of the bridge. I was originally over there. Um, for the people that don't know, I get pretty easily motion sick and I didn't really think twice when I'm um, walking out onto that pontoon and when I was looking in front of me and behind me, the pontoon was literally like this. I didn't notice how wavy I was but yeah, it was pretty gnarly and it's just knocked me around for the last half an hour so just been sitting down, chilling out, I think I'm ready to start fishing again. Pretty much nowhere else around there where I can go unless I just walk all along the bank and hit the tiny little jetties but they're pretty shallow so I just decided to move and we'll work around the bridge pylon and maybe some of these cafes it looks like it's fenced off so don't know if we'll be able to flick there I didn't realize it was this shallow you can literally walk out onto the first one part of the bridge oh, deep out there very very deep that water's flowing so fast. I'd, I'd like to be chucking directly around the pylons, but that's not, it's just not going to be possible. Oh, 
Tyler. <laughs> Tyler on the burn. Phew. I had a feeling I'd probably pick up, if I was going to pick up anything, it'd be one of these fellas. A little choppy. Jeez, this one's been beaten up. Something silly. You're right, mate. I'm not going to beat you up like whatever happened to you the other time. Look at its cheek. Cheek is all busted on that side. And then flip it over. Same thing on this side. And big cuts, bruises all along it. Scaled the crab around these boats. Is this slippery? A little bit. Don't tell me. Not the crab while winding it. You serious? And it just snapped. You are fing kidding me. That is a joke. How to chuck $25 in the ocean. Last crab left. Can we get this one snagged too? I'm a sucker when it comes to locations. We're moving back. Any good? Yeah, go stuck by. Oh, that's good. This one here. The tide looks like it's gotten lower. Yeah, it's definitely a bit lower. Body. Same lure. On the moss. Damn it. That was a proper one. That's why you gotta be ready. Bye bye crab. Man, I've got that crab in the perfect spot. Got onto it as fast as I could. Like that drag, pretty damn tight. And yeah, just did not stand a chance. Grabbed it and just took off so fast. Felt the hooks and was just like, yeah, don't really like that. I'm out of here and there wasn't much I could do. <laughs> Grabbed the spool as quick as I could and yeah, that was definitely way up in there. I mean, it's easy to see why you get a big fish here. Got the um, boat shed right here and they just keep dumping, I don't know what it is, just buckets of water of, must be like fish guts or whatever. And yeah, that's why I think there'd be some big brim under there. Wouldn't take the muscle though. And I've got no crab left at all. So we're gonna have to plastic it. See, look at this. What is that? That looks like soap, but it stinks. <sighs> Bloody hell, that stinks. <coughs> oh, terrible casting job. Oh, scared the shit out of me, bro. <laughs> Sorry, mate. <laughs> um, I've got a couple today. That's pretty cool. Um, over at that jetty down there, but I just got busted off to a big fish around here. Must be coming around to eat whatever this is coming out. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right.
But it's got to be the most straight face thing I've ever read. Come on. Surely this jetty can produce the goods. Goes out quite a way with heaps of oyster covered pylons for me to work. I mean, landing a big one would be something else, but we'll take any size, eh? Can't go much further. Um, no structure. Good flatty zone. False flatty fishing. Oh. Not that I really want to touch that, but there's half of a mussel. That's what we're trying to imitate right there. Just a small one. Is that a hammer? The weird sh you find at jetties. This current is ripping. Shouldn't do this because I'm definitely going to regret it. I'm going to go in here for a little bit. When it starts hitting, I'm off it. It's just, I really wanted to work this area properly, but didn't get to before. Yep. Choppy. Well, at least we've got something on the new combo. <laughs> Not what we want, but... A little chopper tailor. It's been a while since we've even caught anything. Even got a bite, really. Off the foot. Tide change. Started from um, coming in to going out, and ever since then it's just died completely. Completely died off. Besides that one big one that I dropped. Yep. There's a brim. And oh, a good one at that. Oh, wow. I say wow every video. That is a tank. Oh. Where's the net when I need it? Oh, that's just what we've been after. take it over these steps might be the best way to guide it up the old muscle bite's gone a bit quiet back onto it got a couple little nibbles there but nothing really tapped it hard enough to want to actually eat it oh till this guy come along There we go, number four for the day on the mussel once again. I forgot to mention earlier actually, um, it's come in a couple of different sizes and colors and whatever. The guy does custom colors. So depending on the system or the color of mussel you want, it'll do all different ones, red ones, pink ones, blue, white um, mixes. They look really sick, but I've just gone with the traditional black ones. And the size of this is ultra light. Nice little wafting action, slowly gets down in front of the fish's face and uh there's the result i'll get it on the measure but that's probably 39 40 centimeters got to be happy with that on the pig extractor the old brawler also earlier how i had that one one of the trebles well not one of the trebles two of the hook points on the treble uh, actually broke so i ended up putting on a new fresh set of trebles on the back and that one just broke again in its chin right there quick mesh and it's going back a little bit of a overestimation thought it was going to be 40 but 37 come on dude release him over this side so he doesn't spook any more potential mates One last look. Oh. 
cruising. Mate, what are you doing kicking off that strong and then just floating to the surface? <laughs> What's he doing? Brims! Mate! Hold on, I'm gonna poke him with the rod. Look at it! Go down! There you go, being silly. That feels good to be back on the board. And for some reason, this time around, I'm um, on this pontoon, I'm not feeling sick. I mean, the wind's dropped a little bit, but it's still pretty wavy. I'm doing fine. Well, I can't say fine, actually, but you know, I'm not doing bad. It's still here. What are you doing, buddy? <laughs> now he's just shot straight down out to the deep. He's good. Good night. Yeah. Usually have much luck off here? Oh, I think it's just timing. It's, yeah, a couple of months ago it was alright for Dewey's. And... There's one. <laughs> oh. That's another good one. Oh, yeah, I've just been cracking some proper ones today. Yeah. Just all chunky on this um, muscle, muscle lure. Oh. I wish I liked eating them. You don't like brim? No, no. I was, I was literally really. gonna offer you this one. <laughs> if you don't want to eat it. No, I'm, just, I'm not the biggest fan of them. It's not a tank. It's a shame because there's plenty around, eh? Might come off. Yeah, that's a lure. Literally just like a little muscle imitation thing. Like it's like yeah, right. how the muscles come off the pylons or whatever. Yeah, and just, yeah, drifting around. Drift down and, yeah, the brim just smash it, eh? I usually <laughs> use um, crabs around here. Like yeah, the that's lure, what I was using. Lure crabs. Vibe, yeah, little vibe, like little baby blue swimmers. And, yeah. Yeah. Another one falls victim to the muscle. How epic. Probably another 35er. Yeah, 34, 35. I shouldn't have done it on the other side, actually. Yeah, just in there. Just fishing for flatties. Had a piece of trevally on. Got a metre bronzy. Far out. But yeah, all the joeys lately. It's just soapies from schoolies. Micro ones. Now that the water's cold, the sharks are sort of disappeared. Every now and then we'll get a good run, but... Alright, I think I'm done. <laughs> In this area, great work. Ticked off a number of fish. Got a bit of a drive to get home, and I think I want to go to the tackle shop in um, the bay here. Get some more crabs, cranky crabs, uh, maybe for next time, and some other bits and pieces. Well, we what a day. Got it here around about 10:30. Uh, check the time now. 3:39. About to be 3:40. Not really as big of a session as I'd usually do, but um, still a pretty full on day out. What an absolute blast it was. A little bit weird because when I first got here, um, we managed to get onto three fish right off the bat in the first hour and a half or so. And then since then, it just, just went really quiet. The tide changed from coming in to going out and there was just nothing to be around for probably a good two and a half, three hours. Moved around to so many different spots and ended up just going back to the original jetty that I wasn't going to fish. Thankfully I did, hey. Imagine I just thought, oh, don't really want to get that feeling again and bugger it, won't fish the, fish the jetty, but it was well worth it, catching two extra fish. They're all quality. Quality, quality, quality. That's all i got to say. There was not one brimbo that was smaller than 35 centimetres. Just all little fatties hanging around in this fast flowing water. Now I did want to give a special mention to obviously what I used in the whole video, uh, the muscle vibe. The creator of that, Callum Dow, um, I'll pop his Instagram up on the screen or in the description. I had two, ended up losing one ages ago on a boat morning um, at my local harbour and never chucked it since because I was too scared to throw it. But yeah, chucked around today and it definitely proved its point. Lots and lots of fish. Seen it all over socials catching big fat brim and um, yeah, it was nice to actually put the topping on the cake and do it myself. So 
Massive thank you to Callum for creating this lure. Uh, if you want to go check him out, send him a DM if you're interested in these. That's pretty much it, eh? I'm going to head to this local tackle shop. Like the video if you did enjoy. Comment down below your thoughts and subscribe to the channel if you want to see some more fishing content. And uh, like always, catch us in the next one. You.